Watch. Former NBA player Adrian Payne dead at 31 after shooting. Wilmer Valderrama cannot wait to pick up Zorro's sword. During a stop by the Drew Barrymore show, the That 70s Show alum gave an update on his latest TV project, Disney's live-action Zorro series. Though Wilmer is stepping into the riding boots of an iconic figure, he told host Drew Barrymore that his take on Zorro is not like the ones we've seen in the past. He'll tell you this. This will be a Zorro for this generation, Wilmer said of the new TV adaptation. And it'll be incredibly thoughtful with its origin story, and it'll be grounded in authenticity. Despite being booked and busy, Wilmer currently stars as Nick Torres on NCIS and is set to reprise his That 70s Show character Fez on That 90s Show, The Actor noted that he's up for the challenge when it comes to this Mount Everest of a role. Wilmer was first attached to the Zorro series in December 2021, and he responded by calling the opportunity a dream come true. Growing up, Zorro was the one character that made me, as a Latino, feel like I could be a hero, the Encanto star said in a statement. As an adult and a storyteller, I have a responsibility in the stories that I help bring to life. Gary Marsh, former president of Disney-branded television who helped launch Lizzie McGuire, High School Musical, Hannah Montana and other House of Mouse. Hits, IS Producing. Disney's first Zorro series aired between 1957 to 1959 and starred Guy Williams. The character, which was conceived in 1919 by Johnston McCulley, has since been revived in several shows and movies, including Antonio Banderas' critically acclaimed performance in 1998's The Mask of Zorro. Keep reading for a status update on the other reboots, remakes and reimaginings in the works. Reboot Quantum Leap, NBC. Status. Series order. Oh boy is right. NBC has placed a series order for a rebooted version of Quantum Leap. Check out the logline below. It's been 30 years since Dr. Sam Beckett stepped into the Quantum Leap Accelerator and vanished. Now a new team has been assembled to restart the project in the hopes of understanding the mysteries behind the machine and the man who created it. Revival iCarly, Paramount. Status. Season 2 premiered in April 2022. Miranda Cosgrove, Nathan Kress and Jerry Trainer all returned for a revival of the Nickelodeon show about some teens who become viral internet stars. All. Three stars posted a photo from the set on January 27, 2021. Jeanette McCurdy chose not to return as Sam after she retired from acting. Revival. Sex and the City, HBO Max. Status. Premiered December 9th on HBO Max and renewed for a second season. Sarah Jessica Parker announced a Sex and the City revival, titled and Just Like That, in early January 2021, but caused a bit of an uproar when fans learned that Samantha, Kim Cattrall, would not be a part of it. Thankfully, Big, Chris Noth, will be back as well as other fan favorites. The new show will follow the Women's lives in New York in their 50s, and HBO Max boss Casey Bloys has promised more diversity both behind and in front of the camera. So far, the cast also includes returning stars Cynthia Nixon, Kristen Davis, David Eigenberg, Evan Handler and the late Willie Garson, along with newcomers. Sarah Ramirez, Nicole Ari Parker, Sarita Chowdhury and more. Remake. How I Met Your Father, Hulu. Status premiered January 18th on Hulu and renewed for a second season. Hilary Duff is the new Ted Mosby in How I Met Your Father, a gender-flipped reboot of How I Met Your Mother. Duff plays Sophie, a woman who, in the near future, is telling her son all about how she met his dad. The story starts in the year 2021 and follows Sophie and her close group of friends as they figure out who the Yare and how to date in the age of dating apps. Revival. Party Down, Stars. Status. In production, the cult comedy will return as a six-part limited series on Stars. The show ran for two seasons, between 2009 and 2010, and starred Adam Scott, Ken Marino, Lizzie Kaplan, Jane Lynch and more. Most of the cast, excluding Kaplan, is returning for the new season. Revival. Criminal Minds, Paramount. Status. In early development. Just a year after it went off the air, 
Paramount announced that it was bringing back Criminal Minds with at least part of the team from the original show. The revival will find the team investigating one case over the course of the season. Few other details are available so far, including which cast members will return, but a representative for Paramount has confirmed that the show is at least still on the table, despite rumors to the contrary. Remake. Life Goes On, NBC. Status. Pilot Order. NBC also has a Life Goes On sequel series in the work starring Kelly Martin. The new show will revisit a grown-up Becca Thatcher, now an accomplished doctor, and her extended family as she returns to her hometown, according to the description. Reboot, Reimagining, The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Peacock. Status. Premiered February 13th on Peacock. Will Smith is producing a Fresh Prince of Bel-Air reboot, with a twist. It's now a drama about a teen who gets sent from Philadelphia to live with rich relatives in Bel-Air, inspired by a viral trailer created by fan and filmmaker Morgan Cooper. Peacock ordered two seasons of the one-hour drama, named Bel-Air. Reboot, Revival, Pretty Little Liars, HBO Max. Status. In production, Riverdale showrunner Roberto Aguirre Sacasa is executive producing a brand new Pretty Little Liars series for HBO Max called PLL, Original Sin. It's set in the same universe as the Freeform show, but about a whole new group of people. Chilling Adventures of Sabrina writer Lindsay Calhoun Bring is writing the pilot, and the show has been given a straight-to-series order. Bailey Madison, Chandler Kinney and Maya Rifico are currently set to star. Here's the series description. 20 years ago, a series of tragic events almost ripped the blue-collar town of Millwood apart. Now, in the present day, a group of disparate teen girls, a brand new set of little liars, find themselves tormented by an unknown assailant and made to pay for the secret sin their parents committed two decades ago, as well as their own. In the dark, coming of rage, horror-tinged drama Pretty Little Liars, original sin, we find ourselves miles away from Rosewood, but within the existing Pretty Little Liars universe, in a brand new town, with a new generation of little liars. Revival. Dexter, Showtime. Status. Premiered November 7th on Showtime. Michael C. Hall and original showrunner Clyde Phillips are returning for a ninth and final season that will hopefully give everybody's favorite serial TV serial killer a better ending than just Dexter becoming a lumberjack. Revival. CSI, CBS. Status. Premiered Wednesday October 6th on CBS and has been renewed for a second season. William Peterson and Georgia Fox return as Gil Grissom and Sarah Seidel for a revival of the beloved franchise. Gil and Sarah will be joined by a whole new team at the Las Vegas Crime Lab, and newcomers Matt Loria, Paula Newsom and Mel Rodriguez have joined the cast. CBS has given CSI, Vegas, which it is. Kalinga sequel, a series order for the 2021-2022 TV season. Reboot. The Wonder Years, ABC. Status. Premiered September 22nd on ABC. A new version of The Wonder Years follows a black family in 1960s Alabama, and the cast is good. Don Cheadle plays the adult version of Dean Williams, the main character, with 12-year-old Dean played by Elisha E.J. Williams. Dulé Hill plays Dean's dad, an outspoken musician. Sakon Senglo plays Dean's accountant. Mother. Lee Daniels and original Wonder Years star Fred Savage are producing. Reboot, sequel, Fantasy Island, Fox. Status. Renewed for a second season. Jocelyn Sanchez plays Elena Rourke, descendant of Mr. Rourke, Ricardo Montalban, the mysterious man who oversaw the original Fantasy Island. It's an anthology, series set at a resort where guests can have their fantasies fulfilled, for a price. Kiara Barnes and John Gabriel Rodriguez also star. Reboot, sequel, The Flintstones, Fox. Status. In development, Elizabeth Banks is executive producing and starring in a new Flintstones update called Bedrock, in which she would voice the grown-up Pebbles Flintstone, who's working on her own career as her dad nears retirement. Revival. Ally McBeal. Status. Early development. T 
TV Line reports that a revival of 90s legal dramedy Ally McBeal is in the early stages of development, with Callista Flockhart returning as Ally. David E. Kelly created the show, but has previously said that if the series were to return, a woman would take the helm. Revival. Frasier, Paramount. Status. In development, Kelsey Grammer will reprise his role as radio host Frasier Crane in a revival of the NBC comedy, which ran from 1993 to 2004. Few other details are available, but as Grammer said in his statement about the new series, there has long been a call from fans for its return, and that call is now answered. In July 2021, Grammer said Frasier is now living somewhere new, and is rich beyond his dreams. Reboot. Doogie Hauser, Disney. Status. Premiered September 8 on Disney and renewed for a second season. Doogie Hauser MD, the show about a teenage doctor played by Neil Patrick Harris, is coming back with a bit of a twist. It will now be set in Hawaii and will center around a teenage doctor who is also a girl. The new comedy is called Doogie Kame Aloha, MD and stars Peyton Elizabeth Lee as the titular teen. Kathleen Rose Perkins plays her mother, a supervising doctor at the hospital where Doogie works. Remake. American Gigolo, Showtime. Status. Series ordered. John Bernthal stars alongside Gretchen Mole in Showtime's TV adaptation of the 1980 movie that starred Richard Gere and Lauren Hutton. Bernthal plays Julian, a man who was just released from prison after 18 years for murder. He struggles to find his footing in the Los Angeles sex industry and tries to figure out who set him up all those years ago. Revival. The Game, Parampunt. Status. Premiered on November 11th. Wendy Raquel Robinson and Josea Chanchez are set to reprise their roles, with several other original cast members expected to make special appearances. Per. Paramount, the series returns with a mix of original cast and new players to offer a modern-day examination of black culture through the prism of pro football. The team will tackle racism, sexism, classism and more as they fight for fame, fortune, respect and love, all while trying to maintain their souls as the Yeech play the game. Revival, movie, Ray Donovan, Showtime. Status. Premiered January 14, 2022. After being cancelled with no ending in early February 2020, Ray Donovan is getting a second chance to say goodbye. The series will now end with a feature-length movie on Showtime. Revival. The Proud Family, Disney. Status. Premiered in February 2022. The Proud Family. Louder and Prouder is a revival of the classic Disney animated series, which stars Kyla Pratt as Teen Penny Proud. The original cast returned, with Kiki Palmer joining as new character Maya Leibowitz Jenkins. Revival. Punky Brewster, Peacock. Status. Cancelled after one season. Soleil Moon Fry is back as Punky Brewster, the lovable foster kid from the 80s sitcom of the same name, now a mom with her own foster kid and an ex-husband. Played by Freddie Prinze Jr. Reboot. True Blood, HBO Max. Status. In early development. Riverdale showrunner Roberto Aguirre Sacasa is working on a reboot of HBO's True Blood, the vampire series based on Charlene Harris novels. Alan Ball, EP of the first series, is returning as an executive producer but former cast members will likely not return. Reboot, sequel, Gossip Girl, HBO Max. Status, renewed for season 2. Gossip Girl is back with its original creators but not its original cast. The new show is set eight years after the original series and centers around a whole new group of Upper East Siders who are in all white and straight and who are dealing with a whole new era of social media. It stars Emily Allen Lind, Whitney Peak, Evan Mock, Jordan Alexander, Tavi Gevinson, Eli Brown, Thomas Doherty and Savannah Smith. And this time, the teachers are Gossip Girl. Zoe Zoe. Reboot. In Treatment, HBO. Status. Premiered May 2021. Uzo Aduba stars in a reboot of HBO's drama in treatment, about a therapist having weekly sessions with patients. The original series starred Gabriel Byrne. The new cost also includes Joel Kinnaman and Anthony Ramos. Reboot. Walker, Texas Ranger, The CW.
Status. Airing its second season. Jared Padalecki stars in Walker, a reimagining of the classic Chuck Norris series as a Texas Ranger getting over the death of his wife, played by Genevieve. Padalecki, Keegan Allen, Molly Hagan and Mitch Pileggi also star. Revival. Saved by the Bell, Peacock. Status. Season 2 premiered on November 24. The new and irreverent Saved by the Bell follows a whole new generation of high schoolers whose parents and teachers are the original cast of SBTB, including Mario Lopez, Elizabeth Berkeley, Mark Paul Goslar, Tiffany Thiessen and Lark Voorhees. Reboot. Clueless Peacock. Status. No longer happening. Peacock had picked up a reboot and reimagining of the classic 1995 teen comedy, and subsequent TV series, that focused on Dion, played by Stacey Dash in the movie. Etod Become a Mystery, described as a baby pink and bisexual blue-tinted, tiny sunglasses-wearing, oat milk latte and Adderall-fueled look at what happens when Queen Bee Cher disappears and her lifelong number two Dion steps into Cher's vacant Air Jordans. Peacock passed on the show in May 2021. Revival. Lizzie McGuire, Disney. Status. No longer happening. Lizzie McGuire would have been turning 30 in the Disney revival, which had even begun filming. Original showrunner Terry Minsky left over creative differences in January 2020 and production shut down. In December 2020, Hilary Duff announced that the show was no longer happening.